Amid growing financial and economic uncertainty, investors have dumped stocks sensitive to economic growth but rotated into high quality tech stocks. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder and this week we take a look at what's driving the outlook for US fundamentals and home in on one stock from each of the financial, energy and tech sectors. While fears of a total financial crisis have diminished, there remains heightened concerns about what impact stress in the US banking system will have on future economic activity. Financial crisis or not, it's now considered all but certain that the problems within the banking system will lead to a material decrease in credit growth. Following several years of strong growth during the pandemic and given the rising interest rate environment, most analysts had expected credit growth to slow going forward. This means an even more significant hit to economic growth and on top of that, bank profits, which are tied to economic activity and credit creation. As we discussed last week, the ructions in the global banking system have led traders to bet on a lower peak in US interest rates, followed by aggressive rate cuts in the medium term. The outlook was somewhat reaffirmed by the FOMC last week. It hiked rates by 25 basis points and stated that ongoing rate increases will unlikely be appropriate to quell inflation as the issues in the banking system lead to tighter financial conditions. However, Powell stopped short of confirming rate cuts, stating the Fed doesn't see rate cuts this year. Despite pricing out rate hikes at the margin, futures continue to point to cuts by the end of the year from the Fed. This has led to a significant drop in yields. It has also led to a partial reversal in the US Treasury yield curve inversion, with the all-important US 10-year yield dropping from above 4% to below 3.5%. This has sparked a significant shift in asset allocation amongst investors as money moves into stocks that benefit from lower interest rates. A vital concept to understand in investing is that of duration, or in this instance, equity duration. S&P Global defines equity duration as the sensitivity of equity prices to interest rate changes. Interest rate sensitivity increases the further out in time one goes. That means the greater the profits expected to be generated by companies out into the future, the more sensitive those companies are to fluctuations in interest rates. In the United States, the best example of stocks sensitive to duration is growth stocks which are very often found in the US tech sector. Investors have remained selective in the type of duration stocks that they own. Rather than companies with purely growth attributes, investors are seeking out quality and even defensive characteristics too. Many of the companies included in the US Bank Plus Index fall into this category, with the index surging more than 30% since the start of 2023. This week, we take a look at three US stocks from three different sectors of the markets, the financial sector, energy sector, and information technology sector. Chevron Corp is the Dow Jones Industrial Average's biggest energy play and is currently experiencing increased selling of its shares. Investors are increasingly concerned about the outlook for energy demand following the recent bank crisis, with hopes for a swifter swifter Chinese economic rebound also fading. Chevron stock remains in an uptrend, however, price momentum is skewed to the downside. In the longer run, JP Morgan could benefit from less competition in the banking sector following the distress and crisis of confidence in US regional banks. In the short term, however, the prospect of weaker credit growth along with the highly unfavorable term structure and interest rate markets, banks borrow in the short term and lend out for the uh, long term, meaning an inverted yield curve is bad for profits, and that is weighing on the bank's stock. Currently, JP Morgan shares are finding support at a confluence of levels around $125. Sellers continue to emerge around $145 per share, while buyers have tended to emerge around $100. Although it remains well off its highs, Microsoft shares have lifted this year and have arguably benefited from the shift in growth expectations. As a quality growth stock, which is sensitive to duration, the collapse in yields has acted as a tailwind to Microsoft share price. Microsoft's share price has broken out of a down Uh, downward trend channel now and has pushed to the 100 week moving average around $276 per share. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.